Okay, let's factor the equation x squared minus 11x plus 24. And we'll start with the skeleton equation. That's right here. Once we have that skeleton, what we can do is we can put the signs in the skeleton. So in this case, the middle term is negative. If the center term is negative, we're going to have a negative and a negative in our skeleton, like this. Once we've done that, we're going to find the factors for the last term. That's the 24 and they need to add up to the middle term. So let's list the factors for 24. So I could see that three times eight gives me 24, three plus eight will give me the 11. So I'm gonna put a three here and an eight here, and we're done. We factored the equation x squared minus 11x plus 24. We should check our work with the FOIL method though. So we multiply the first, the outside, the inside, and then the last, and we get and we can combine the negative 8x and the negative 3x to get, and this is the same as we got earlier. So we've correctly factored the equation x squared minus 11x plus 24. Let's quickly find the values for x here that when we put them in the equation, we'll make this entire side of the equation zero. We'll have zero equals zero, and that's a true statement. So we could say x minus three equals zero, x would equal three, and x minus 8 equals 0, x would equal 8. If you put 3 in for x, you do the math, all of this equals 0. Likewise, if you put 8 in for x, you do the math, it's going to equal 0. And if you use the quadratic equation, you get these exact same numbers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 11x plus 24. Thanks for watching.